Well, when I, I think of this issue, uh, it's also come up in social emotional learning programs as well, right? You know, of kids are going to manage emotion. I mean, just think of some of the words that are even used in the SEL uh, field. Um, I think as we continue to bring this work into schools, we need to be very aware that we probably uh, present it sometimes in a way that is uh, a little deceiving, <laughs> uh, to say the least. And I think we have to be careful of that because as we deepen our ability to regulate our emotions, we become more aware and we come, become more aware then of, of things like injustice, for example. Like, I want us to become so aware that nobody picks up the pen or pencil to take the standardized test. And nobody knows what to do about it. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's, that's how aware we need to become. And I think that's possible. In other words, that's really, for me, where we're going if we can really uh, not simplify the issue, you know? to not talk about kindness and compassion as things that you could just do a behavior in, but that is a change of heart from within that requires a very, very deep set of learnings and practices that then lead to a more compassionate person, you know, versus we're going to collect acts of kindness, for example. 